r slash ask reddit what happened at your work which caused multiple people to all quit at once the boss went off on a tirade on me for something that wasn't my fault and i got him to scream people like you are expendable pieces in this company and i can replace you tomorrow if i wanted to 80 percent of the engineers quit the next day simply didn't show up including me from what i know the entire project folded because my now ex-boss couldn't find people to replace us because no one wanted to do the kind of work he was looking for at the salary he was paying. Promised a bonus at the end of the year. Told everyone they will not be giving out bonuses due to the low company performance. Company had a successful year. Boss was in the middle of building a multi-million dollar home. Brother-in-law manager just bought a nice home that year. I quit on the spot. Many others quit soon after. Oh fucking boy. I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings for a few years as a line cook. Two different stores. Same fucking pay. It was the type of work where you ask for a raise and they scoff and say yeah. Me too. Anyways. I had been pretty dead set on quitting sooner or later. Our kitchen was very small. Most people ended up closing 4-5 days a week with doubles on the weekends while still attending school full time as it was a college town. On Super Bowl fucking Sunday. A useless co-worker who ducked out in the bathroom most the shift finally stops showing. And in response the managerial staff delegated closing to my pal Jay. Dude was a fucking delight to be around. Hands down the best co-worker ever. Jay had told them that due to being a full time student. He no longer wanted to be first in last out. 4pm to 12am. 1 a.m. on the weekends. They basically told him to go fuck himself. And that they don't have any more shifts for him. Immediately. Me and one other cook walked to the office and quit on the spot. Buffalo Wild Wings lost 4 cooks on Super Bowl Sunday. Leaving them with 7 full time students on the schedule. It was a managerial shit show. They laid off half the company with no warning. This included a gentleman who was less than a year from retirement and had been there for 35 plus years. The company was shocked when half the remaining people abandoned ship shortly thereafter. I did landscape construction. The cheap ass owner kept taking bigger and bigger projects while never hiring more help. We were all overwhelmed. Stressed. And anxious as hell. One of our foremen quit and I followed suit a few days later. Two more guys quit the next day. He was down to 3 guys for the obscene amount of work he wanted to do. Of course everything gets way behind schedule but he's convinced it's not his fault at all. He went out of business less than a year later. I was working for a very large IT company. Before the tech bubble burst we had a meeting with our new director and the VP. They were tired of people complaining about things that should be changed at the job and how they managed people. So they sat around 200 of us down in our auditorium. And the director said she didn't want to hear any more complaints on how she was running things and if we didn't like them there was the door and that there was no way we'd leave such a great job. Well there was a mass exodus and probably close to 50 people left within 2 months. She and the VP were aorged and given zero reports. They were gone after a round of layoffs happened shortly after. A well known colleague committed suicide and we were told by management via a brief side note in an email about stats at the end of the day. It caused a lot of upset in the office and quite a few people didn't return after this. At one of my old jobs new management took over and she was just awful. She stripped me of a promotion that the previous manager gave me that I worked my ass off for. Put trainees on alone during a holiday. Just a whole bunch of shit. Like 5 of us got together after the final straw and quit together. Restructure of the way we're paid. What I used to do involved about 40% client interaction, 20% team co-worker interaction, and 40% paperwork and case coordination stuff. Based on what we do that means only 40% of the time is technically billable. And there are really sticky rules for what is and isn't billable. So, logically, we were being paid on a salary model. Q management saying we can only make money for the time we have that is actually billable. One stroke fourth of the department quit. Two of us on the same day. They called everyone into a major company meeting and informed us we were all, except for sales and managers, being offshore to India and the Philippines. They had a plan for us training our replacements that. 
strangely, didn't account for pre-scheduled turnover. People started finding jobs literally the next week and the himahijing never stopped. They reviewed the cameras back three months to catch people coming in less than three minutes late and have them all write ups. Like 20 people walked out across the entire unit. I had worked at a grocery store for about three years before moving from courtesy clerk, basically bagger plus custodian, to help a clerk, stocker. The grocery department wanted to save costs on personnel, but couldn't fire anyone or lay anyone off due to the union. So they started cutting back hours and literally told us when someone quits. Everyone else will get more hours. We were supposed to be 40 hour employees and they had us at 32 hours. Two people quit and we were down to 24 hours. A third person quit. Down to 16 hours. I don't know what their plan was. But they didn't give us more hours as people left. New management. In a month. Four kitchen staff quit. Leaving me to be the only original kitchen staff hire from the previous manager. She completely changed the vibe of the workplace. No one was happy. No one felt like talking or listening to music or being friendly. It was robotic. Worked at a data company. The guys in the sales department fucked around all day. They'd literally be in the parking lot drinking beer and racing RC cars. When it came to handling accounts clients. They frequently gave away free accounts in order to retain customers and make their own sales numbers look good. And somehow they got away with it. Meanwhile, there were dozens of programmers and database nerds working tirelessly behind the scenes to integrate a bunch of complicated data and make it easy to access via the website. Yearly holiday announcements come around. And upper management decides to send the entire sales team to Hawaii for an all expense paid vacation. When the furious developers asked why they were just taking the sales team, the confused CEO literally said well, I mean, I guess we could ask the sales team to pick one person from each department who helped them the most this year, and take them too. The programmers engineers database people were livid, and walked out in droves. Gee, I wonder why the company tanked. School district I sometimes sub in had a big round of hiring. A bunch of building substitutes applied for the jobs. And only about half of them got interviews. Of the subs that got interviews, myself included. The only one who made it past the screening interview was a relative of a current employee. The rest of us subs weren't the right fit. The real reason is that there's a substitute shortage and they don't want to lose any of us. Not a single sub, who isn't a relative, was hired for one of over a dozen teaching jobs many of the building subs are coming back next year. Wasn't my office but one in my building. The old CEO retired. He was extremely well loved and very fair. His replacement was a lady not known for her social skills. She hired her sister as the new VP and passed over everyone who was in line for promotions. Literally everyone but the sister and the secretary quit the next week together to go work for a competitor. The former CEO had to come back to try and fix everything. He ended up having to help the new CEO hire basically a new company. I don't think it's going well. Anytime I've seen a mass exodus. It was because of poor management. I've never seen it organized. Just a bunch of employees independently deciding to quit in the same month because the management was so bad. The owner died and his idiot son took over and decided that the company didn't make him enough money and started to implement cost cutting measures like turning off the AC in the building. Worked in construction as part of a HSE team. The chief engineer was pissed that the job was taking slower because of the HSE, especially safety, procedures. We had a couple last time incidents at this point and just a week before a guy almost died. But he was still pretty pissed about the delays so he got everyone in a room to say. You're not here to do your jobs. You're here to do what I tell you to do. 20 people asked to quit on the spot. Fucking cunt. Turned out our owner was keeping the social security money taken from our paychecks. And yes. He was caught. Edit. Holy crap this blew up. Owner is just a term for owner of the company. I don't mean anything by it. They bought air mattresses so employees wouldn't have to leave to go home during a classically busy season. Mass exodus after that. The company consistently outpaced competing firms and found itself emerging as one of the industry leading agencies. 
This was also a California tech firm. So shorts. Flip flops. Beers at lunch. Getting high on the roof were all rather common. But we were rapidly growing. And the atmosphere location made us a hot ticket for talent. Anyway. CFO and CMO cashed out and the CEO decided to totally remodel the company by making it far more corporate. On top of all of this. They implemented unattainable goals and removed our work from home policy. The final straw was they removed our rather generous vacation policy and replaced it with unlimited vacation which was a facade for you can take as much vacation as you want if we approve it. Like one stroke fourth of the company quit and immediately landed at better jobs. Also profit tanked. They decided after 6 years it was time to do a drug test. Even lost the CEO in that great idea. Worked at a deep underground mine. The mine had always had issues due to the geology wanting to collapse. Think lumps of rock falling the size of houses. The geotechnical engineers stated the mine was not in their option safe. Management disagreed, not geotechnical. At the same time. The mine and cost cutting had no serviceable rescue chambers, little steel boxes that are your lifeline when things go bad. Then. Mine rescue was abandoned, the only people who can get you out when the worst happens. These were no popular. Our boss had a beating and announced new policy that all salaried employees had to work a minimum of 45 billable hours per week because of the increased project load we had. I pointed out to a few co-workers that our employment contracts specified 37.5 hours per week. And that I would be adhering to that policy. Well. About a week later I was laid off due to lack of projects. Ha. Huh. I was happy to go. And at least two others left voluntarily within the week. The job I found next was much better. And wasn't run by someone quite so clueless about how to treat people. I worked for a company that had gone through a restructure. We put so much work into salvaging our company and jobs. After announcing the restructure complete. Think GWB on an aircraft carrier deck. The CEO hired his wife as the second highest paid person in the company. She had previously been a nursing assistant and was a complete loser. She was having people with PhD and MBA degrees reporting into her saying things like this is what a budget looks like. And my all time favorite no. Marketing does not necessarily mean TV commercials. Like. What the fuck. At the time she was making 10 times what I was making and I was doing work she didn't even remotely understand. It was such a farce. Half the engineering team and a huge portion of sales simply quit. She was trying to explain why not getting a bonus was. In and of itself. A bonus. The top 3 salespeople simply walked out of the meeting. Cleaned their desks and left. I knew then we were screwed and quit a couple of weeks later. I used to work at a McDonald's. And we had a terrible manager who hated a lot of people working there. Everyone else hated him too. But no one wanted to call him out on his shit and quit. I was the first to do it. Because I requested two weeks off in August of that year. About three months in advance, my family likes to plan our summer vacations early on. When August came around he had my schedule set up for all of August off except for those specific two weeks. There was no way that he could have misinterpreted my request. When I got my schedule. I stormed into the restaurant. Called him out on everything. And then quit on the spot. About two weeks after that. I heard from one of my work friends that five other people had enough and quit as well. I kind of felt good to be the first. Random witness drug test at a chemical refinery. 45 people just stood up and walked out the door. About 15 years ago. A company I worked for announced as a way of keeping from having to lay off anyone else in the already bare bones crew. They announced 10% pay cuts were coming in a month. It took me a week to find a new job at the same pay. I took it. Lots of people quit within that one month time frame. About a year later. The place came back to me with an offer well above what I was making previously. When I started back at work. That's when I found out everyone who stayed. Was still getting paid less than they were before the pay cut. Felt like I hacked a system by refusing to take a pay cut. Currently ongoing mismanagement and corrupt practices that even caught the sex attention. 8-10 employees. 3 new hires. All quit in the past 3 weeks. 
My girlfriend at the time got fired because she gave me a hug on my birthday and she was leaving for the day. The owners of the store got onto us a couple of weeks prior to the incident about flirting in the store, which only happened if there was no one in the store, but we listened to them and apologized and stopped the flirting. So she gets fired and leaves and they call me to the back to talk to me about why they did it. I told them they fucked up and they could close the store that night, they have no knowledge of their products. So I walk out and meet up with her and another girl that worked there. The other girl's boyfriend was still on the clock and left for his lunch to meet up with the three of us. He calls during his break and tells them he's not coming back and then his girlfriend did the same thing. It's a small store. But they lost their entire staff in the span of 30 minutes. Over-reliance on institutional knowledge. Basically. It was company non-policy not to bother documenting anything. Never to create procedures. Never to get wrapped around the axle by planning. Etc. So the jobs basically lurched from crisis to crisis aimlessly in the name of being biased towards action and not getting bogged down by bureaucracy. As such. Getting anything at all done meant finding the person who already had the knowledge in their head and relying on them to remember how they addressed a specific issue previously. Annual maintenance was effectively a scheduled crisis with everyone fumbling to remember exactly what they did a year ago. Or to adapt memories of previous crises into a solution for the current crisis. Then one day. A multi-decade employee got sick of the dysfunction and left for greener pastures. This gaping hole meant that simple problems became crises and genuine crises became group hysterics. This made an already toxic environment almost comically radioactive. And within two or three months. Over three quarters of the department had left the company. I worked at a large national law firm in one of their Bay Area offices. There was a weird and intense rivalry with the other Bay Area office. To the point that our office manager forbade us from asking for help from their office in any capacity. Including coverages or help with a client. Our office was smaller and tight knit. And we also billed more per quarter. The office manager was helpful and our managing partner was great. One day. Our managing partner was offered her dream job at another firm. And she put in her intent to leave. We didn't know who our new manager would be at first. But as soon as it was announced that the SF office was moving part of their staff over. Three stroke fourths of our office quit on the spot. Attorneys and admin staff. And went to another firm. Those of us who remained realized why we never worked with SF. And slowly but surely we were fired over minutia. It took them about two years to get rid of all of us. Great times. Cancelled all raises and bonuses for everyone except the CEO. His wife, financial and HR. And his son, utterly useless IT. In a year where we have record profits and brought in almost double the clients on top of announcing they aren't looking to hire more people when we were already overwhelmed. Good part about it was when the majority of us quit they lost almost every single client shortly afterwards to their competitors and the company is now defunct. Our company relocated from a small suburb to a large city. Pretty much everyone had to take public transportation to get there. My supervisor was firm in only allowing two work from home days a week. I told him I was exhausted and having one more WFH day would make a huge difference. But he wouldn't budge. I told him I would need a raise. Because I was spending hundreds of dollars a month on transportation. And it felt like I had been demoted. He refused. I was offered another job. And I took it. He was shocked that I was leaving. About a month later. All but the worst employee had either left the company or left his department. We don't know for sure. But at my last job. Me and the people I worked with had our suspicions that the company was actually a front. The guy who owned the company had credit cards with at least three different names on them. His mail had the same few different names and he even had bank accounts under different names. Three of the girls got other jobs before me and the other remaining girl and we were subsequently made redundant. Because it was just the two of us. I'm glad I got out one way or another though. I got my first big break when something like 23 people walked out called out due to ridiculous cross training requirements that basically demanded specialists with 10-20 years of experience had to learn jobs that had nothing to do with theirs. And do those other jobs as well as the specialists in those areas. And vice versa, so the management could switch around everybody's schedules at will. 
Both departments walked. They were so desperate they even hired me. Who had no experience at all. The company president got the axe and things were pretty good after that. They actually listened to employee input for several years. The married boss got one of our managers pregnant. She took this a permission to treat everyone extra. Extra shitty. Word slipped out that the whole accounting department was being replaced so they all resigned all at once. We stopped providing free coffee. And were so cheap that we sold our coffee maker. This was in Seattle. So a couple of people bought their own coffee makers to put in their cubes. That tripped the breakers several times so it was very disruptive since our computers would shut down. Management then said no coffee allowed in the office at all. We lost 4 very good engineers. Tattoo shop owner, who lived in another state, hired some arsehole to come revamp the shop. I had been managing for 3 years at this point and he just expected me to teach him how to do my job so he could replace me. That guy had no clue how to run a shop. Plus the owner had been embezzling money for her coke habit and had blamed the longest standing artist at the shop for lost revenue. Accused him of stealing. I did the books. No one was stealing. She was nuts. Anyway. All the artists and I mutinied and left at the same time. Fuck them over good. With that idiot at the helm the shop didn't last a year after we all left. We just had a company wide, except the directors of course, pay cut of 20% and a 4 day work week instead of 5. Everyone one including myself are currently looking for work and they will lose their work for so so quickly. Company changed from 5 8 hour shifts to a 12 hour shift rotation. Edit. Most of the people that quit were the ones that were on straight day shifts and didn't want or couldn't work night shifts. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.